for Jules Muller, and I'm about to try all the cheeses that I just received from iGourmet. And here is one of them, the Wexford Mature Cheddar. And I can do that with the scissors. Undo that with the... Uh, and this cheddar looks and feels like a mozzarella, but let's try a little bit. Oh my God, it cuts like a mozzarella too. It tastes like a mozzarella. Wait a minute, no. Yep, there it is. The sharpness. Yeah. Oh well. Wow. Wow, it's um, very nice. Cross between, oh my God, dude, yeah, that's a good, that's great. Yeah, yeah, the Wexford Mature Cheddar from my gourmet. Um, it's like smooth like a mozzarella. And then um, it's a cheddar. And it's got that flavor of cheddar, so yep, that's great. Love it. Let's keep going. And I've got my smoked Emmerlander. Let's see what this is all about. Cut open the bag a little bit like that. <clears throat> it's got the rind on it. And it's whoa yeah definitely smell smoked Put a little corner off and I don't know you can eat the rinds and maybe I should F it I'm not familiar with Emmerlander as a cheese. Smoked, nailed it. It's definitely smoked. Emmerlander, yeah, I like it. It's good. I think I like the smokiness of it the best. It's a great cheese. Yeah, I like it a lot. Oh man, this is one I'm really looking forward to. The Camembert Bellarive. Let's check it out. Little packaging in it. Okay, okay, okay. I love the wicker basket. That's really cool. Oh my God, this is a brie. Bella Reeve. Why doesn't it say Brie anywhere? Doesn't matter. You can see that this is a Brie. I'm not even going to open it all the way. Here we go. Let's try it out. Cutting a little corner of it. And. Best serve with a cracker. Doesn't matter. It's fantastic. I am not disappointed with any of these cheeses yet from my gourmet. Yeah. We're doing good. Well, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Five more cheeses. Let's see what's going on. Next, we've got the Manchego. And again, the rind. Dang, man, I'm still hung up on that brie. Very good. Can't remember. I'm really not a brie guy. Last brie I had, it was just like, mm. But. 
This is great. So here we go. Manchego. Love to see the rind on these cheeses. Oh my God, dude, that's so cool. Oh, that's a really good cheese. It's nutty, it's woody. Oh man, it's excellent. <laughs> oh yeah, riding it all. I'm eating it. I'm enjoying it. It's excellent. Yep. We're doing good, right, Gourmet? We are doing good. All right, so here's next. The Gruyere. I am a Gruyere man. I love Gruyere cheeses. And I don't think there is any other Gruyere. It's made in Switzerland. So we had a few of these and they've all been fantastic. So let's let's see if if this is as good as all of the other blue years I've had from Switzerland. I love the rind. That's so freaking cool, man. And yeah, smells like a Gruyere. Let's get a little, I'm just gonna cut a little wedge out of it. I'm not gonna mess with the rind. Yep, definitely gonna make some great sandwiches with that. Yeah, in the morning, take my sourdough, sourdough with a little bit of Gruyere. That's it, that's my breakfast. Gruyere and a couple of slices of sourdough bread. And I'm done. Dude, I love it so much. I know I shouldn't, but I'm doing it. I'm having another little fucking slice of this. Oh yeah, that's a great time. Excellent, excellent Gruyere. Yep, let's keep going. Honeybee go Gouda. I'm not really a Gouda fan, but let's go for it. Let's see how this Gouda stacks up to all of the other Gouda's that I've had. I haven't had many, a couple. I gotta get that Gruyere out of my mouth. All right, so here we go, honeybee goat Gouda. Soft, rich, creamy, and flavorful like a Gouda, as you would expect. Cutting another little chunk off. That's a Gouda. It tastes like a Gouda. So it's definitely Gouda. And, pun intended, it's good. Ooh, I like the rind. That's pretty cool. Honeybee. Actually, weirdly, it does taste a little honey-like. I do taste the honey in it. Hmm. Wow. That is really interesting. Continuing on with our cheese journey from iGourmet, we've got the 
Mountain Gorgonzola. And cut the bag open. Yeah, it smells like a mountain, which I love. Got the rind on it, which is skin like, which is weird. This looks very weird, but let's. Wow, that's. What are you. Uh, is that covered in plastic? This look. Okay, so it is covered in plastic, so there's plastic inside the plastic. That's why the skin is so weird. Okay, okay, okay. No problem, no problem, no problem. I don't know why they double bagged it, but that's fine. I guess they want to protect the quality of the cheese, and I respect that. There we go. Now I got the smells of it. Wow. Yeah, okay. I definitely see why they double bagged it. Because that's a very pungent cheese. Wow. Holy smokes. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Jesus. Whoa. I'm almost scared to taste it. Nope. Oh my god. It's very salty. That has its place. I don't know what its place or where its place is. Maybe with a really, really, really rich wine. But Oh my god. Ah, oh my god. Oh wow. Jesus. Mountain Gorgonzola. Wow. That is so intense. Uh, okay. Well, hey, that's good to know. Uh, we're going to put that back in the bag and. Uh, I will try to keep uh, an open mind to some situations where I would enjoy to eat that cheese. Uh, but right now, I can't think of one. Um, you know what? I already thought of one. I'm one of those bland cheeses. You make a cheese pizza? Okay, yeah, whatever. But uh, throw a little bit of this uh, gorgonzola on it. I was gonna turn your bland cheese, uh, uh, yeah, bland cheese pizza into something amazing. So, uh, yep, I already found its place. Here we go. We're gonna to go to the uh, Be Beamster Classic 18 month aged Gouda. And we'll see how this goes down. Turn it down like that, and I've got a little bit of the uh, Mountain Gorgonzola on my fingertips. I'm going to get that off so I don't get confused by the flavors. And yeah, again with the rind. I love seeing that. That's so freaking cool. And I'm just going to cut in the middle of it. Love the color. Color is great. That edge Gouda is great. I'm gonna look at my other Gouda. Let's see what the difference is between those Goudas and I can't find the other Gouda. I have too many cheeses on my table. Oh, there it is, Honeybee Go Gouda. And this is the Beamster Classic 18 month aged Gouda. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what's up with that honeybee, but which is good. 
but this 18 month aged Gouda is much better. Much, much better. I kind of find the same thing with my cheddars. Like the uh, two plus year aged cheddars to me taste extremely better than the younger cheddars. So maybe that's what's going on over here with these goudas. The honeybee goat gouda was probably a young gouda and this 18 month aged gouda. Well, I mean, I mean, look at the color. This one's white. And this one's yellowish. So, I mean, you can see that this is a young cheese and that this is much older. Like the older cheese, much better. <laughs> what it means, older is better. You know, I mean, sometimes with the wines, the older wine with the ports, the vintage ports, the older wine, they're better. Um, you know, it's not always the case. So take it as it is. Thanks for watching. Hey, before I go, if you love my videos as much as I love making them, buy my student loan book, the Kindle version. And while you're at it, you might as well buy the book that slaughtered Google. My student loan book, The Applicability of System Thinking to Modern Entrepreneurs. This is my doctoral study proposal. I spent $250,000 going to college to write this book. And then I published it. And then I got an overfill job. And I feel really freaking smart just hanging on to it like this. And it's it's a uh, hundred pages and most of it doesn't even make sense because it's written to the rubric for the university. Uh in the case um it's pretty cool to have around. So if you love me and my stories, buy both of the books. Buy the kind of versions because, you know, the paperback is a lot of resources. You know, the natural resources with the trees and the paper pulp and all that stuff. You know, forget about it. You know, do the instant gratification. Get it now. And, um, yeah, this is a, a perfect example of when instant gratification uh, is appropriate. Help me out. Help you out. We're both at the time. Hey, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.